King of Sports. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Welcome everybody to New Japan Strong. Alex Kozlov, Kevin Kelly, and we are getting the tournament underway. That's right, the New Japan Cup USA 2021 tournament starts right here and right now. And last week we showed you fans the beautiful trophy the winner will receive, plus the winner of this year's tournament will be crowned the first strong open weight champion. So as we look at the bracket, you can see our first round matches this week. And let's start with our main event because it's gonna be a physical match for sure. Brody King versus Chris Dickinson. And you know, these men are no strangers to each other. And just looking at the brackets, looking at the main event, you know that this is gonna be a very strenuous tournament. Fred Rosser versus Hikaleo. Might be tough to pick a winner in this one. I can't call it at all, but I know that it's gonna be a war. They have some unfinished business. Fred Rosser got the one victory over Hikaleo. Use the hair, let's see what happens when they meet in the first round of the tournament. Plus, we'll also see Ren Narita versus filthy Tom Lawler. Does Ren Narita have the experience necessary to get to the semifinals? Well, Ren Narita has definitely been on a tear, but Tom Lawler is such a killer, and he's such a good strutter. I don't know. We'll find out what happens, and we'll start with our opener. The first match in the ring tonight, Clark Connors versus Leo Rush. Let's get the tournament underway. New Japan Cup USA 2021, right here on New Japan Strong. The following singles contest is scheduled for one fall and is a first round matchup in the New Japan Cup USA 2021 tournament. The lights, camera, action, and here we go. Kevin, I'm still buzzing from last week. You know, when Clark Connors had the biggest victory of his career when he beat TJ Perkins in a qualifying match to be here, part of this New Japan Cup USA tournament. My God, the captain is here. Introducing first in the red corner, standing five foot seven inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, Clark Connor. Yep, got the win over TJP to qualify for the tournament. And we talked about it during those qualifying matches, the way everybody fought oh my just God. to get into this tournament. So grueling, so grueling. I'm wondering if Fred Rosser is even it, like able to compete after the beating he took. Yeah, again, we'll see the first round action this week, the semifinals next. And in two weeks, we'll crown New Japan Cup USA. Leo Rush beat Rocky Romero to qualify. And what a match that was. His opponent in the blue corner, standing five foot six inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds, the man of the hour, Leo Rush. So phenomenally gifted is the man of the hour, Leo Rush. Your official for this contest, referee Chad Rico. Well, Leo Rush has a, a great opportunity here. Uh, when he made his debut here on New Japan Strong, he quickly learned the environment, you know, with the Bullet Club running the house and Phantasmo. He has another opportunity here in this very uh, prestigious tournament. And of course, Clark Connors, 
with another opportunity to compete. He started off like that wild charging rhino oh. across the ring as he speared TJP trying to get a quick victory. Uh, I think that uh, Leo having faced off against Rocky to qualify will benefit Leo Rush here against Clark Connors. Uh, styles somewhat similar in, in a great, you know, amateur background, fundamentally rooted in the New Japan Dojo system. Now you have Leo Rush mounted on top of Clark Connors. Now, fans may not know that Leo Rush was an amateur great. Traveled nationally, competed in national wrestling tournaments. Uh, you know, not just in the uh, DC Metroplex, but went all over the country and was an Olympic hopeful before deciding to turn pro at a very young age. He is so far advanced for his age, it is, it's remarkable. Athletes like him come along once a generation. That's very true. I mean, he's so gifted, so incredible yes. of an athlete. And Clark Connors, of course, was again the, he was not the first round draft pick, you know, for getting into college football, uh, but worked his way to becoming the captain, the defensive captain on his team and earns the respect of his opponents, whether it was in the gridiron or in the squared circle. So Leo Rush feels the shoulder tackle. And now inviting Clark Connors to try it again. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and, and the agility and quickness of Leo Rush showing there is met with another hard tackle by Clark Connors, and he returns with a drop kick with of his the own. Blink of an eye, Leo Rush extends those legs for the drop kick, and Clark shoves him away. And immediately the power, the knee into the midsection. Clark off the ropes, and here's the misdirection wow. play. I was going to say earlier, that was almost a Clark Connors-like move when Leo hit the opposite uh, side of the ropes. But Clark able to put him down. Winners will advance next week to the semifinals, and we are anxiously awaiting the culmination of this tournament, the New Japan Cup USA tournament. Just as, again, we uh, start to head into the springtime months. And stomp it away on Leo Rush in the corner. If you had, okay, so you, you're, you've got your own wrestling company. You're in charge of New Japan Pro Wrestling. And you get to make the first pick, but you have to choose between these two. Who would you choose? Would you take a Leo Rush or would you take Clark Connors? That's a really tough choice because both of these men are so, so gifted. But I would have to go with Clark Connors. I just love his intensity. I will build my company around him. Uh, you know, again, I, I don't think there's a wrong answer to that question. Both are just so tremendous. That hip toss threw Leo Rush two-thirds of the way across the ring, and now Clark closing in, and we'll send him from neutral corner to neutral corner, the up and over from Leo Rush, and stumbled a bit. Clark trying to capitalize. Rush escapes, catches him coming in with the boot. Leo's going to look to get on his horse here and use the... Ring as a weapon, nicely wow, done. Leo Rush is so innovative. <laughs> Good snap on that kick into the back and a kick out at one. I think Clark Connors is going to remember that one. Might be a little receipt coming later on. That's what I was going to say. A receipt is his due for sure. Renderita versus Tom Lawler, Fred Rosser, Hikaleo, Brody King, Chris Dickinson. Those are the eight men who qualified for the New Japan Cup USA tournament. And the winner, wait a minute now, suplex, floats over, cover, and a kick out of two. And of course, the strong open weight championship uh, in addition to that beautiful trophy for the New Japan Cup oh USA tournament. You know how they say, you know, uh, titles don't make the, the men, it's the men that make the titles. Well, I mean, just seeing the qualifying matches and seeing uh, the men that oh. are in this tournament. This, we are witnessing history here yeah. uh, with the, the prestige, the buildup of prestige around this championship. Wow, hard kicks by Leo Rush. Clark Connors just asking for it. I'm telling you, when Clark Connors, when he gets angry, he's able to channel that energy. It's almost like he gets a... And the axe kick. Wow. But Leo Rush able to gain the upper hand in that exchange. Cover, two, and a kick out. There are times when Clark Connors, and in fact, it's you know, throughout the LA Dojo system, where they almost morph into Katsuyori Shibata. And as Rush was connecting in those chops and just the way Clark 
wiped it off, like, or the uh, kicks into the chest, rather. It just wipes it off. That's such a Shibata-like move. But I, I'm loving what Leah Rush is doing. He's staying aggressive, almost more, more aggressive than usual. And that's what he has to do with a very aggressive and intense guy like Clark Connors. And now going to take him over, watch this. He'll try to drop him head first, Clark but. Connors pushes him off and the drop down. Oh, watch out. Here comes oh, the pounce. Oh, here comes Leo Rush right into your screens, right into your homes. Leo Rush gets launched. Clark Connors launching Leo Rush with the pounce. Yeah, I think Leo Rush is next snapped against the lower rope on that landing. That was rough. And I can see some hurting coming in Leah Rush's way. Hard chops to, to the chest of Leah Rush. Short snapping chops. More a broad arm into the sternum. Oh, and now and another one. Stepping in and delivering. Clark does not get cheated on anything. And look at the velocity as Leo hits the buckle. Oh, right. Shoulder tackle into the midsection of Leo Rush. My god. Overhead throw. He'll go for a cover here. Is it enough to move on to the semifinals oh, and kick able out? To. A lot is on the line. The stakes are high. Lions break crown tournament winner. Clark Connors looking to close the deal. Here he comes, the spear, no, the sidestep. Leo Rush out of, that, out of the way of that wild Whoa. charging rhinoceros and delivers that spinning kick. He was able to sidestep the spear attempt by Clark Connors and able to connect with that spinning kick, buying him some time to recover. Charges him with a clothesline in the corner. Pushes him off against the rope. Catches him with a clothesline. Here comes Leo now. Long way to go. Had it oh, set perfectly. Wow. Oh, and Clark crashing hard to the floor. Watch this. Wow. Moonsault. One. Asai Moonsault. Referee starts the count right away. Three. Leo rolls him back into the ring very quickly, and trying now, to capitalize. Let's see if he can springboard his way to victory, perhaps a cross body. What's he looking for here? Yes, cross Connect. body. Leg is hooked. Two, the shoulders were down, but only for two, and Clark Connor is able to kick out. It has been a grueling pace. Both men leaving it all in the ring here, looking to advance to the semifinals of the New Japan Cup USA Tournament. I think if Clark Connors is able to connect with that spear, I think uh, this ma match may be one move away from being over. And Leo Rush now looking to shut down Clark in advance. Let's see what happens here. Going catches for the him. cutter, but Clark Connors catches him. Leo Rush fighting out. He go! Oh my oh. God! He went for the spear. And Leo Rush catches him with the kick and the forehead. And my God! Yeah, the referee going over to check. Clark is not out. I'm surprised that by was, that. Whew, that was rough. What a! Oh man! What an answer for that spear by Leo Rush. Oh. And he's able to connect. Oh, the spear! The spear from Clark Connors. Cover him. He's got him. Two. Leo kicks out. He's locking in the Boston Crab, but you know that every opponent he's been able to apply this to has tapped out. Will he be able to turn him over? And he's he got, got it. Oh, no. Leo Rush able to roll. Leo Rush waiting for that moment when Clark would step over and roll. And wow, look at that. He's really prepared for this match. He had an answer for that. He certainly did. And Leo. Oh, wow. Oh my God! He's got the, he's got that bus and crab over the ropes. He's, he's only got five seconds though. He's gonna have to let go. Stays on it as long as he can. Leo Rush just found himself draped against the ropes in the Boston Crab from Clark Connors. Looking for that back suplex, but Leo Rush lands on his feet. And with a spinning heel kick. And he's going for the cutter. Will he connect this time? And he's able to connect. Yes, he does. Leo Rush will cover him. And is it enough? Yes, and he sir. Does it. Impressive win 
by Leo Rush. You can tell that he Here's prepared your at nine for competition. And 57 seconds and advancing to the next round, Leo Rush. And Leo Rush advances. Leo Rush advancing. Leo Rush, again, the Super J Cup disappointment. Leo Rush channeling that energy here for this opportunity. The New Japan Cup USA Tournament, the Strong Openweight Championship, all of that could come the way of Leo Rush. He has advanced to the semifinals. First round matches will unfold here this week. The semifinals next week in two weeks will crown a winner to this tournament. Will Leo Rush be the man to be crowned New Japan Cup USA Tournament 2021? The following singles contest is scheduled for one fall and is a first round matchup in the New Japan Cup USA 2021 Tournament. Well, I did want to provide everybody with a medical update on the condition of Sterling Regal. The news is not good. Uh, uh, readily apparent last week in our main event six-man tag, J.R. Kratos stomping on the arm of an already KO'd Sterling Regal, and he is going to be out of action for quite some time. So Tom Lawler now begins his journey. Can you imagine him as the first ever strong and champion? First in the blue corner. I can imagine that, actually. Weighing at a 205 pounds. Yeah, I want to see this truck. He is filthy Tom I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Team Filthy. Well, I respect them as athletes, but there is something imminently hateable about that man. Why, they're hateable because they're dangerous? No, they're dangerous because they're dangerous. What, it's their attitude, it's the way they carry themselves. It is everything, it's the way that they brutalize Sterling Regal. That was brutal, I agree, but... And There's, Lawler loved it. Lawler loved it. Yeah, that's he was what egging a, him on. That's what kind of sick individual filthy he Tom is Lawler sick. is. He's truly filthy. He and doesn't Ren, care. Ren Narita. <laughs> well, Ren Narita, you know, obviously has had success with wins over actually Chris Dickinson and also beating Mysterioso to oh, qualify yeah. to be here. I mean, this is going to be the biggest test in his career. Tom Lawler very quick to remind Chris Dickinson of that. And we'll see what happens here in this. Corner, representing the new Japan Pro Wrestling LA Dojo, standing six feet tall, weighing in 183 pounds, Ren Narita. Now, we've seen Ren Narita coming into matches as a complete underdog and coming out victorious. Yeah, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. No, you're right. And and again, he is in that underdog position as Filthy Tom Lawler is uh, the clear-cut favorite. When you take Lawler's experience, not just in pro wrestling, but in mixed martial arts as well, with his wrestling background, of course he has the experience. But Ren Narita will look to catch lightning in a bottle here. The winner will advance to next week's semifinals. And in two weeks' time, we'll crown New Japan Cup USA tournament winner and also the first ever strong open weight champion. We'll see here how both athletes approach this. If Tom Lawler were to make a mistake wow. and not realize that Ren Narita is very well skilled, he will pay for it. That is a good point. If Tom Lawler doesn't make any mistake because Ren Narita, what's allowed him to be victorious in those matches that he's been an underdog in, he's been able to capitalize on those mistakes. But the question is, the, does Ren Narita have anything that Tom Lawler hasn't seen? Well, again, I'm not so sure, uh, but, you know, the one unmeasurable and is not on any athlete's resume is heart. And that's what Katsuyori uh, teaches. If, if an athlete has heart, he can overcome any obstacle, any opponent. Now, the technique and the conditioning also needs to be there, but it's heart first. And Ren Narita has heart in abundance. He does. No, I agree with that. He certainly has heart. 
but sometimes, and unfortunately, heart is simply not enough. Trying to pick the ankle of filthy Tom Lawler, who refuses to give ground. And so Narita will kick the outside leg and take him down. I know that uh, Tom Lawler doesn't like being on his back, and right away he lifts himself up and in a front face lock. Again, Narita a able to escape. A match like this, you don't want to blink, folks. This is not one to go to the fridge because it can end in the uh, it can end in rapid fashion with a submission, or as we saw last week in our six-man tag main event, a knockout. Yeah. With Lawler's uh, acumen in multidiscipline fighting. So dangerous. And Ren Rita showing hard, fighting back. With a European and a hard chop. And a snap mare. Going to work on the neck, but Tom Lawler quickly reversing that and grabbing the arm. Yeah, again, the if Narita paused maybe for just a split second, realizing that he had Lawler where he wanted him, Filthy Tom Lawler immediately turns things around. He's got that arm locked up. And the head stuck under the, under the arms of Tom Lawler and going for the cover, holding on to the arm. And you can, you can tell that Narita is sensing that Tom Lawler was trying to go for the arm bar, holding on to the arm. Trying to, well, very smart. He, he could tell that he was in danger and he was able to uh, push himself off of a, 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 dom a dominating Tom Lawler. I think what we've, we're seeing is that Tom Lawler respects uh, Ren Narita's ability. He's, he's not uh, wildly charging in, Narita taking Tom Lawler down and now trying to control the leg. Notice how he has the opposite leg controlled, but Lawler is able to pull that out, kick Narita away. Shoots in, but Ren, uh, Ren Narita able to block that. And Lawler goes behind the waist there. I mean, you can't. And look at the way that he rolls him up. He could go for a rear naked choke hold. He has so many options, he's so skilled. Goes for a cover. Splato there and, an, and a uh, just a one count. You know, it's not a prerequisite, but it certainly can benefit. An athlete getting into pro wrestling, if you want to be a, a, a New Japan star, uh, if you have a background in amateur wrestling, you can build off of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And both do. Uh, Narita, of course, was a champion in a uh, lower weight class than Lawler in his hometown of Aomori before trying out for the dojo. Oh! <laughs> wow, and now look at Narita firing back. And now controlling the rear chin lock, and, and uh, Lawler not able to immediately shoot out and escape. I'm impressed uh, that Ren Narita has been able to keep up uh, wrestling uh, Tom Lawler. Really shows his skills. He's staying very composed for somebody uh, with his experience, very composed and eyes on the ball. He understands the importance of this match. Oh, and look at that, look at that leg lock. Oh, the needy T right there. And Ren Narita quickly going to the rope. Yes, sir, so as the leg lock was applied. I gotta say, Ren Narita is really ahead of his time. I mean, the, the skills and Five uh, minutes have a leg. that he's showing. Five minutes. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know that he's been wrestling not as long as he has. I, yeah. I see your point. It, it, it's the, the maturation as an athlete, but now Lawler's starting to open up. And Lawler really laying him in as Narita's up against the ropes in that corner, trying to snap Marin. Narita not wanting to give ground, realizing that if Lawler puts him down, he might put him out. Now look at that. Lawler is dangerous from every in which position. He can throw you on your neck. He can apply a submission from any angle. And look at that cravat. Look at him cranking on that neck and with the knees. Vertical and a hard suplex. suplex. The vertical suplex by filthy Tom Lawler. And Lawler will go for a cover here to watch the transition though. I was wondering if perhaps he was going to cover to oh, go. There he is. Yep. 
Now he's trapping the arm here, pushing it against the neck of Renarita, which blocks the air, the the blood flow to the head. And usually you can go out that way. Yeah, so. as the carotid arteries run uh, north and south throughout the neck, again you can clamp down on one side, but on the other, push your opponent's arm into it, and that loss of blood flow will cause unconsciousness. So now Renarita is in some trouble yeah, here. He needs to be careful. Oh, and he's able to elbow out, but Tom Lawler still holding on. And he finally, Rinna Reader was able to escape that. That last one caught. Lawler by surprise, I think. And look at Rinna Reader start to go on excursion, but still choosing to wear the traditional black trunks and black boots. And the exploder! Exploder! Lawler extending the arms and sending Ren Narita flying. This again, the first round match in the New Japan Cup USA tournament. We've already seen Leo Rush advance and we've got two more first round matches to come here on this episode of New Japan Strong. Out of the oh, way the for kick. the kick, Ren Narita oh. moves and goes for it. He, is he going for a Boston Crab? But look at, look at Tom Lawler. Oh, and he got him, he got him in that lock. A triangle choke. Turning that into the armbar, but Ren Narita able to roll out and grab in the waist. Cobra twist, Cobra twist. And Lawler is fighting that, holding on to the arm. If Ren Narita could only escape. Lawler trying to get oh. position on that and leg again. Going for the leg lock. Narita fighting. Boy, what a struggle this match is. It is awesome to watch. Wrestling. Oh, yeah, this is a treat. And Ren Narita trying to relieve the pressure by pulling on, on the arm of Lawler and able to roll out. My God. Wait a minute now. And Ren Narita looking oh, look to tie that. him up. Whoa. And let's see if he turns Lawler away. Wow, that is tight. Lock it in, Narita special here. Let's see if Tom Lawler can roll over just like that. And look at him grab that leg and going back to work. And it looks like he's applying the figure four. The figure four leg lock. Ren Narita trying to prevent that leg from locking to relieve the pressure. Man, I gotta say, he is very technically aware, is Ren Narita, but oh. Tom Lawler able to lock it in. And Lawler scooching away, pulling Narita away from the ropes. So Ren Narita in real submission trouble here. Will Ren Narita submit? Will Tom Lawler advance? Oh, what a slap. Come on again. Oh, and Tom Lawler just Come asking for more. Come on. No. Oh, no. Why more pressure? Boy, is he in a predicament. Wait a minute, trying to reverse it. Going the long oh. way through that reversal. And now can he get to the ropes? Can he get to the ropes? And Lawler looks like he might be turning the Rita back down. Oh, he turned them back. Ren the Rita is in deep trouble right now. Can he get to the he ropes? Is so He's close. so close. And Tom Lawler is pulling him back, oh! and he's able to get it. My God. Ten Woo. minutes have elapsed. That was a Ten close minutes. one. I felt like he was going to tap any second. Boy. And now Tom Lawler. He has Ren Narita down. What heart displayed by Ren Narita. Ah! Ah! And he's got him in the front face lock there. Front and choke. It's, it's tight. Yeah, this front choke could put Narita out. When the reader is trying to pull their arm out of the way and look at that, a modified Northern Light suplex. Rolling over, holding on to the arms. And going yeah. for a, yes, belly to belly suplex. He tops him, two pulls the arm away from wow. the ropes. Oh. Look at the awareness of Ren the reader pulling the arm of Tom Lawler so that Tom Lawler wouldn't grab the rope to break that pin. Yeah. I'm so impressed with that Ren the reader. Look at that spinning heel kick. Ren the reader. On top again, is this enough too? And now, a tight chin lock. And it, it, it's a rear naked choke hold. Yes, it is. 
Lawler pushing him into the corner. Break it. Oh, but Ren the Rita grabs it again. You Tom Lawler rolls oh. him over and goes for the arm bar. Oh, and. And Narita oh, wow. instantly having to get that boot on the bottom rope to force the break. Otherwise, it could have been his arm that was broken. And Lawler now closing in. Tom Lawler. And the arm drags Ren Narita. And another oh. arm drag. Pulling that arm could be pulling that out of its socket. And another. Oh, 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 he got him. He's got a sleeper on Tom Lawler. He's going to choke Tom Lawler out. Look at Tom Lawler grabbing the leg of Ren Narita, trying to get out. But Ren Narita still holding on. And Ren Narita, you can see that he's bleeding from the nose. Oh, if wait. he can only hold on to it. Ah! Wow, Tom Lawler, Tom Lawler turning it into a suplex. Yeah, the Olympic ah! slam and Ren Narita ah! back on his feet. More heart. Lawler ah! can't believe it. Wait, underneath the clothesline, oh! back to the rear naked choke. And now Tom Lawler with the rear naked choke. And we've been seeing him winning matches using this technique. Narita bleeding from the nose, as you mentioned, Alex, and now starting to fade. And just like Narita's trainer, Katsuyori Shibata, here he comes, the PK. Oh, and he connects. Blisters him. And not content not to go for the cover. And yeah, that's it. That is it. I don't even know if Ren Narita will be able to answer. I think he's knocked out. No, I think again, he's fading the referee. He is bare. Yeah, he's out. He's out. He's he, out. He's call, out. Call the match. Call, call it. He's unconscious. He's out. God. Have another one sent to the hospital by Team Filthy. Yeah. They are savages. So filthy Tom Lawler advances to the semifinals of the New Japan Cup the USA tournament. At 13 minutes, 19 seconds. And advancing into the next round, filthy Tom Lawler. All right, the referee. Referee will... checking on Ren Narita, yeah. but Tom Lawler is asking the ref to raise his hand. Have a little compassion for another human being, Tom Lawler. Is that too much to ask? I, yeah, I think it is a lot to ask. I don't think compassion is in the name. I, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see it. I see it. True hooligan. So Lawler advances, but you have got to tip your cap to Ren oh. Narita. I think that uh, certainly Ren Narita has earned Tom Lawler's respect. If, if you maybe he, he won't admit to it. But I mean, that was a hard, hard matchup. Yeah, I mean, it absolutely was. Ren Narita, tons of heart, but Lawler advances. What'd you have to? Oh, I'm checking out a new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh yeah, they put out new products like every, every month. month. I just got a t-shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh yeah? I'm wearing them right now. I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. I love Tokon Shop Global. I as well. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. The following singles contest is scheduled for one fall and it is a first round match in the New Japan Cup USA 2021 tournament.
All right, Alex, come on. You were hedging your bet at the top of the broadcast. I want to know, who are you picking to win? Ooh. I don't know, but I, I I don't even know if Fred Rosser is in the condition to wrestle after seeing no, the beatdown. No, I think he's I think he's fine. I think if anything, it's just going to fuel his fire. But Hikaleo looking to avenge his one blemish here on New Japan Strong, and that was a victory, controversial fashion by Fred Fred Rosser, standing six foot eight inches tall, weighing in at two hundred and eighty pounds, the Young Gun. Hikaleo! Hikaleo asking to have Rosser in the first round yeah. of this New Japan Cup USA. That sort of uh, allowed the New Japan matchmakers to sort of make the rest of the brackets after Hikaleo and Fred Rosser. I mean, they were destined to meet, and why not have it in the first round? I want to see this match. There he is, all oh, man, all oh, amazing. Let's see what Fred Rosser could do. Oh, Rosser is angry. He's a, he's shouting at Hickle, asking him if he's ready to do this. And you know that nobody can bring it better than Rosser. Oh, and Hickle out charging him. Wow. A very aggressive start from Hikaleo. Not wasting any time. He may have knocked the tooth out of Rosser. Referee hasn't called for the bell yet. And now they're tied up on the outside. You can't disqualify, can't disqualify anybody if the match hasn't started yet. And they are still fighting out here Ooh, on the floor. Our club to the back of Hikaleo. Right in front of the trophy and the timekeeper's table, Hikaleo. Fred Rosser opening up the offense. Oh, whoa, whoa, watch out! Oh, tossing Fred Rosser over the rail. Over the concrete barricade. floor on the Under outside. The concrete floor. This match hasn't even started, and it might be over for Fred Rosser. Referee thrown down. Rosser's down. Hikaleo, an angry man with purpose. Man, a Hikaleo just is fueled by anger. Just can't accept the fact that he has that one blemish. Hold on. That one loss that he had to Fred Rosser. Oh my God, a gigantic chop to, to the chest of Fred Rosser. The youngest son of Haku, the brothers, the brother of the Gorillas of Destiny, oh. dropping throat first. Fred Rosser, again, this match has not even started. The referee has not been able to call for the bell, and Fred Rosser has been brutalized by Hikaleo. Referee asking if Rosser can continue, if he can even start. Jeremy can't gain control of the monster. Well, again, it's a, a tough situation for an official under other circumstances. Sure, you can count somebody out. You could call for disqualification. Now rolling a fallen Fred Rosser under the ring, and this match could end in split. No, 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 no. The match Jeremy to refusing to uh, the count the because the, man, the, the, the bell hasn't even rung. Go, go, go. Take the corner. Well, I don't even know if this match can even happen. Go. Jesus. Take the corner. Take the corner. And Jeremy now gaining control, pushing the... Well, wait, what would this mean? If Fred Rosser can't even compete, well, would, well, would Hikaleo win by forfeit? Oh, the bell sounds, oh. here he comes! Oh, my God! Good officiating by Jeremy for allowing Fred to get up on his feet, but Hikaleo quickly oh, taking running, advantage. Two, the running power slam and a near fall as Fred Rosser kicks out. Hard elbows. And now choking Fred Rosser. Don't choke him. Don't choke him. Breathe, Fred. 
Look, I mean, this is the same kind of foul play we, we have seen from Hikuleo in their first encounter. Maybe that's the justification that uh, Rosser can, you know, use to, to pull yeah. on the hair. Yeah, again. To, on their roll up. I mean, he had to endure the foul play by Hikuleo. And that was, again, part of Hikuleo's rage after oh. that was that the referee did not see, didn't call Fred Rosser's blatant use of the hair to get the pin. And, and the argument can be, well, Bullet Club never gets a call. Oh, that massive chop from Hikaleo. My God, what a blast. And yanking Rosser back up and putting him down with the shoulder. I have not seen another athlete control and punish Fred Rosser here on New Japan Strong the way Hikaleo is. And driving that, that foot over the face of Rosser. Man, when you get Hikaleo angry, my God. Standing on his chest to execute a pinning combination, but I think the idea was punish Fred Rosser even more. And Hikaleo does not miss. Oh, wow. As long as Fred Rosser is conscious, he will never give up. Jeremy Marcus, I think, is doing an outstanding job here trying to balance the, the competition and the importance of this tournament with the care of the athletes. And Fred Rosser telling Jeremy, no, he doesn't want to give up, and the vertical wow. suplex. Floats over into the cover, hooks the leg, two, and a kick out. There are few athletes in the world that are as gifted as Hikaleo. That's a combination of size, strength, and overall, ath overall athletic ability. I mean, he has unlimited potential, absolutely. Well, what a first step this would be for Hikaleo to be the first ever strong open weight champion and the winner of the New Japan Cup 2021 tournament. And now Fred, Fred again Fred, pulling the hair. You know what? I think it's fully justified. He he's endured enough of Hikaleo's foul play, and now he's returning the same kind of treatment, giving a little bit of his own medicine back to Hikaleo. Jeremy doing his best to control these athletes from abiding by the rules. Uh, this also trying to buy Fred Rosser some time. Oh, there you go. Pushing Hikaleo into the apron. And again. One, two, three. This is a physical Four, war here, as expected five, between these two. Six, the bad blood that's boiling within Hikaleo. Seven, Fred Rosser feeling the same. Eight, Again, after Rosser emerged victorious nine, over J.R. Kratos in the qualifying match, Hikaleo came out, told Kratos one more. And after, wait a minute. And after Kratos did hit Rosser with one more. Oh! Lifts him up with a back suplex on that hard apron. And Rosser now trying to will himself back into the ring, pushing Hikaleo away, pulling down. If you see, if you get a shot there, he's exposed his knee. Fred Rosser has exposed his knee, so it'll be bare bone oh! on the side of the head. Five a knockout minutes, shot, perhaps. Hikaleo down, leg hook two, and a oh. kick out. What a physical match so far. Hikaleo glassy-eyed, but still had the instinct to kick out. Just desperately reaching out. Any help he could find. And a hard punch to the face of Hikaleo. 
And another for good measure. Can't even begin to describe what it would mean to Fred Rosser for him to be the first ever strong open weight champion, the winner of the New Japan Cup USA 2021 oh. tournament. Here we go, choke slam. Same thing he did to Rosser. After Kratos delivered one final shot. And a rolling elbow, but Hikaleo still standing. Catches Fred Rosser in the power slam. And wasting no time, Hikaleo will pick him up up on the shoulders. Here we go. All the way down. Cover two. It is, over. is over. It is over. Wow. Hikaleo advances to the semifinals of the New Japan Cup USA tournament. Here is your winner at 6 minutes and 22 seconds. And advancing to the next round, Hikaleo. That was an awesome fight. Hikaleo again, attacking Rosser before the match began. They battled on the floor with Hikaleo in control. Did tremendous damage to Fred Rosser. What a fight it was. And you gotta give it, give it up to Hikaleo for overcoming that adversity. I mean, they both threw everything that they had and ultimately very gifted Hikaleo. And comes no out doubt about it. Will Hikaleo be the man to win this year's tournament? He's advanced to the semifinals. Hey, Freddy, you see what happens when you play fair? You don't cheat, leave that to me. He still pulled my hair. I still won, fair and square, bars. The following singles contest is scheduled for one fall and is a first round matchup in the New Japan Cup USA 2021 tournament. So far advancing into the semifinals, Leo Rush, Filthy Tom Lawler, Hikaleo, and who will be the fourth semifinalist? This is our main event, the first round of the New Japan Cup USA Tournament. Dirty Daddy Chris Dickinson on the scene. I'm not so sure that he's fully committed to first, Team the Filthy. Corner, standing five foot 10 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. The Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson. Well, we've seen just how dangerous Chris Dickinson truly is when he knocked out Sterling Regal. Yeah. Sending him to the hospital. That knockout, well, it was the broken arm from J.R. Kratos that sent him to the hospital. Well, that but, too. But what got the decision, it was a knockout finish. Vicious. And Brody King obviously will come in with memories of that after Kratos and Tom Lawler were double teaming Brody King on the outside. He was unable to come back in when Regal's arm was broken, but I've got a feeling that Brody King is gonna look to get revenge on Sterling's behalf and advance to the semifinals. Corner. Standing six foot seven inches tall, weighing in at 300 pounds, Brody King! I'm wondering if Chris Dickinson will be able to do the same thing to Brody King. Brody King has got a solid chin. Will Chris Dickinson be able to use his weapons against the monster? And of course, you know, these two, they are very familiar with each other and uh, Ring of Honor, we saw that recently, and but we'll see now. This is uh, this is business, and taking care of business is what Chris Dickinson certainly will look to do. The same for Brody King. It's got to be imperative for Brody King to keep his hands up as much oh, as possible. Yeah. Anytime you're in the ring with Chris Dickinson, you better keep your hands up. 
I was in the body of that six man tag. Oh, look, look at him with a single leg trying to take down the big man. Yep, and yes. it was going after the leg of Brody King. That, that was what Chris Dickinson did, and I speculated as to whether or not that would be Dickinson's strategy. Oh! And that indeed was the case. And I think it would be a smart strategy for Dickinson to neutralize the big man by taking him down. Swing and a miss. And now answering with a chop of his own. Firing back, Brody King puts Dickinson on the deck. Just one week ago, the six-man tag team match where Sterling Regal had his arm broken after being knocked cold by Chris Dickinson. What and the sent on. sent on there, and the legs trapped in a kick out at two. Now don't forget, Brody King has also got some knockout power. He's got yeah. some heavy hands. You got that right. And Brody charging Chris Dickinson in the corner, and a hard following up with a hard chop. Brody King. Again, with memories in mind of what happened a week ago, but also having to focus on this opportunity. Will Barrow and Dickinson stepping through, going back to work. Very smart, very smart, working the leg of the bigger man. As long as he can keep the big man down, he has a good chance of winning this match. Oh, look at, look at the torque he has on that single leg crab. Yes! Oh! Pull him back even more! Brody able to get to the rope. Using all that six foot seven inch frame and the long wingspan to get to the rope. But Chris Dickinson has set a clear path to victory. And that will be by dismantling the leg of Brody King. And that will nuke that not only can he submit him via the leg, but it also will neutralize Brody King's ability to move and deliver with the force that he is so well known for. Putting all his weight on the knee of Brody King. From the moment that Chris Dickinson oh. made his debut as part of Team Filthy here on New Japan Strong, he talked about what New Japan Pro Wrestling means to Chris. And again, to be the first ever strong open weight champion, he would be a tough out in any type of title match. And now looking for the figure four, the figure four leg lock, which Tom Lawler used with such effectiveness against Ren Narita. And he locks it in. Putting the pressure. Again, Jeremy Marcus with the awareness as the referee realizing Brody King's shoulders were down as he searches for an escape and perhaps could reverse it. Now letting go of the hold and another dragon screw. Turning it on the inward angle and reapplying the figure four leg lock at least wanting to. Beautiful, very smart, very smart. Wow, beautiful. Brody King was Again, was again out of the hold. Chris Dickinson with another dragon screw and reapplied it. Smart strategy. And really snapping down again. It's that, it's Dickinson's right leg across the ankle of Brody King. That's what drives the right leg across into the knee. It could break the shin. It could break it at the at the knee. There's any method and manner. A pain delivered with the figure four, and Brody King not able to get to the ropes, but finally able to. This is our main event, the semifinals of the New Japan Cup USA Tournament are next week, and we will crown a champion in two weeks. Five minutes have elapsed. Five minutes. Uh oh, wait a second. 
Swing and a miss. You can see how Brody, his mobility is affected by all the work that Dickinson has done on that leg. And another Dragon Screw taking the big man down. Well, Dickinson is staying disciplined to his game plan. Brody with just one good leg, trying to kick off Dickinson. But Dirty Daddy staying close, staying busy. Now gonna make Brody King run. Oh, watch out. Brody fighting back with hard forearms. Back to the knee, back to the knee. Dickinson continuing to stay focused. Oh! And look at the redness and the swelling on the left knee of Brody yeah, King. Yeah, you're exactly right. That's a great call, Alex. Now he's gonna try again to make him run. When you got an athlete hobbled, make him run. Brody, Brody able to reverse that. You can see how he's laboring through, but he crushes him in the corner and now sending Dickinson to the opposite side. Maybe it was an effort to try to avoid this, this crushing cannonball in the corner, but there's no oh, way to avoid Brody King. Oh my God, that collision was vicious. Cover two and a kick out. 300 pounds colliding with Chris Dickinson in that corner. I don't even know how Chris Dickinson was able to kick out. And he's looking yeah. to pick him up. Short oh. pile, pile driver. Pile driver on Chris Dickinson. Oh my God, and that is it. Two. I don't know. Oh, oh my out again. God. That was a punishing, punishing pile driver. We talked about it all through the qualifying matches with the way everybody fought just to get into this tournament. What kind of action we will see. And we have seen every bit the same and more here in the first round. I don't think I've seen a more strenuous tournament like the one I'm seeing right now. And a high kick to the face of Rhoda King. And another. And now the second rope. Catches him with a DDT off the top. And now, has Dickinson done it too? Brody oh. King kicks out. And he's going back to the leg. Back to the leg, back to the leg, turning him inward away from the ropes. STF apply. And we've seen him submit his opponents from this STF. Boy, look at it from our vantage point. Look at the angle of Brody oh, King's the leg. Jesus Christ, bro. My God. King must be in a very excruciating predicament right now. Look at that. Come on, Brody. Let's match right now. Let me know. Brody King has got good arm range. If he's only able to get to the rope, yeah, he is there able it is. To. Again, these matches are one fall to a finish. But you got a feeling the end could be close. Now let's see if Dickinson from the waist lock. Oh German my God, suplex. the power of Dickinson. One, two, and oh, wow. Dickinson thought it was in the bag, but Brody King had other ideas. I was questioning whether he was going to be able to pick him up. The strength on Chris Dickinson to pick up the 300-pound monster. And now the front face lock. Oh, wait a minute now. Watch out here in this stand-up. Got to be careful. And this is a very dangerous position for both men, as both men have knockout power. Trading chops. They are giving it their all, folks. Ten minutes have elapsed. Oh. Ten minutes. Just trading swats back to the leg. 
And kicking away at an already compromised leg of Brody King. Swings for the Enziguri, comes up yeah. empty. Brody King oh. with a German suplex answer. And now Brody with a head of steam off the ropes. Oh, I'm underneath the clothesline. And oh, oh that left. Oh my God, that left and he stuns Brody oh. King. Oh, there's the Enziguri. Oh, oh my God, turning Chris Dickinson upside down. Oh. Wow, Chris Dickinson stunning Brody King with that left forearm and the right forearm. But ultimately, Brody King was able to catch Chris Dickinson with that vicious lariat to pick Here's up the victory, advancing. At 10 minutes, 42 seconds, and advancing to the next round, Brody King. Brody King advances. He is out. He's out on his feet. Dickinson nailed him with that left forearm. And we talked off air. Dickinson, a right-handed fighter. And sometimes when you throw with the opposite hand, you have like this crazy level of strength because it's not your primary weapon. And Dickinson caught Brody King flush with the same left forearm that knocked out Sterling Regal. Brody King fights through and advances to the semifinals. My God, what a war. Well, Alex, I think we get our answer. How physical this tournament is going to be and how hard these men will fight to be the, not only the New Japan Cup USA tournament winner, but also the first ever strong open weight champion. My God, I am so excited that we will get to crown the first ever New Japan strong open weight champion. It is going to be amazing to see, and next week we'll have the semifinals for you. In our first semifinal match next week, Hikaleo goes one on one against Filthy Tom Lawler, and then the main event, the second semifinal, will feature Brody King versus Leo Rush. We'll see if David can slay Goliath. Once again in our main event next week, plus a big eight-man tag that's sure to be fun. For Alex Kozlov, I'm Kevin Kelly. We'll see you next week.